guys today i just want to make my first little video here on how you go ahead and root and unlock the bootloader on your hdc one x i think most people are looking for how to root their device uh, but to do that you need first to go ahead and unlock the bootloader and this is kind of interesting i actually haven't seen that many people do a video about this on youtube already i think actually this could be one of the only videos on youtube right now on how to do this so i found a pretty good article how you can go ahead and do this I followed it it worked for me so this is probably gonna work for you too so the first thing you need to do is go to htcdev.com forward slash bootloader I have Google Chrome beta here install you just go ahead and go to this link and then you just basically it's very very simple you just follow the instructions on how you unlock the bootloader support the devices you just tap over here go down on your computer to all supported models go down there uh, and tap down there as well and then you just follow all of the instructions on your computer everything that will pop up and uh, uh, yeah, it, it's it's kind of very straightforward. So that's the first thing that you're gonna do uh, Now the second thing you want to do over here is that after you have been going to htc.com bootloader and been unlocking that one uh, Then you need to download the Android SDK and install it on your C drive So I will have a link to that also in the description and I mean this article is very very uh, Straightforward and how you go ahead and do this. I followed it exactly like this and and it did work so uh, go ahead and download the Android SDK uh, then we need to download two files and that's going to be first off clockwork mod because we're going to change the recovery in in, in this HTC one X we don't want the stock recovery uh, why why do we want to change the recovery well we want to do that so we can go ahead and back up our our, our our little phone here we can install custom zip files we can install custom firmers and ROMs so that's why we are changing to clockwork mode and remember there's only a clockwork mode touch version out at the moment not the real like clockwork mode uh, but of course clockwork mode touch it's kind of like the other clockwork mode uh, it's the version 5.8 uh, we have download links to that uh, file that we're gonna need there in the description below and then also a uh, file that you're gonna put on your SD card called super su that's basically gonna fix root for us so let's just go ahead here and check out the recovery and as I said you just follow the instructions you just go to the link in description and uh, you see everything you go go first htcdev.com unlock the bootloader and then download an, uh, the Android SDK to and install it like on your C drive so you can easily find it and then also in Android SDK you need to I think you may have to install some uh, you need to unload, uh, uh, you need to open up probably the Android SDK manager exe file over there. Uh, let's see here, uh, SDK manager. I'm gonna show it to you over here, right effing now. Yeah, you need to go ahead uh, after you have been uh, downloading the SDK manager to your little computer you can go ahead and find it right here uh, we have the latest builds over here for Windows and of course for all of course for Mac this is the article by the way that I used uh, but you go ahead and download the Android SDK install it on your C drive very 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 straightforward and let's see here we're just gonna go ahead and open up the Android SDK uh, okay so we have it here on my C drive uh, Android SDK uh, just double tap there on the SDK manager uh, open it up and what you want to install here is the latest you, you want to tap on Android SDK tools and, and then Android SDK platform tools you can probably pick someone else uh, or some other as well if you're a developer you probably already do know about it then go ahead and go down and install package just tap on that and install it and do all of those good things so that's 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 a very important thing that you go ahead and do over there uh, and as I said download the super su uh, file and uh, put it on your SD card or actually on your on your phone um, because that one we're gonna need that need that one after we've installed clockwork mod uh, but go ahead first the bootloader, uh, unlock the bootloader, htcdev.com, download Android SDK to your computer, download these two files, clockwork mod, 
that's good that's gonna replace the original recovery in the HTC phone and then also download a super SU that's gonna make uh, our phone so we, we get root and everything and that's a zip file that we're gonna zip using clockwork mod uh, and then now let's go ahead here you can see the instructions for reboot into recovery let's just go ahead and check out that a little bit so you can go ahead and see what it's all about and how you can go ahead and access it and I'm not going to show you all exactly all of the instructions. I mean, it's kind of straightforward, as I said, um, how you go ahead and do this. Okay, now it seems like my phone turned off itself. I'm not sure why. That was pretty random. Okay, there we go. Uh, to access this uh, place over here, uh, Let's see here. Oh my god, you can't see anything. There we go. Uh, to go ahead and uh, go into the recovery mode, you need to turn off the phone and then you need to go ahead and hold in the power button and the volume down button uh, for a few seconds and then you will see this screen get some details here if you have an, like an unlocked or locked bootloader you can see there in the top there in like the purple color I think it's called in uh, English uh, but uh, here you can also see you can go up and down with the volume uh, down and you know up keys and then also uh, if you want to select something you just click on the power button Let's just go ahead and check out the recovery I have because I, as I said, I follow the article and everything. And I mean, do ahead, go ahead and do so. And uh, when you go ahead and uh, install the recovery, uh, it's gonna look like this: the new Clockwork Mod Touch Recovery. This is uh, basically how it is uh, going to look like after you have installed it and uh, followed so all say all say all say all instructions let's go ahead okay there we go uh, clockwork mode over here it looks just like the normal one but you can go ahead and touch here you can install save from SD card use touch also the touch crease down at the bottom also works so it's very cool it's it's very intuitive and intuitive yeah it's it's pretty god I'm awesome um, so um, after you have installed clockwork mode touch you're gonna use that you're gonna do that by basically connecting your device to um, to 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 your computer using USB, uh, and then you're just going to go into CMD using the Android SDK uh, and put the Clockwork Mod Touch file in your Android SDK folder, and then we then you're just basically going to transfer it and replace the original one on your HTC One X, and it's it's a very simple process when, once you go ahead and do it, and if you know something about computers. Uh, then you basically just want to go ahead and reboot the phone go back into recovery you know go down uh, and then you're gonna have this new recovery clockwork mod touch then the first thing you want to do uh, after that is you want to go ahead and back up the device so you want to go ahead and go down over here uh, to let's see back up and restore exactly and you want to tap on backup now I already made a backup so I'm not gonna do one more but that's that's very good and it's it's very very important to do uh pretty pretty great let's see here can we get a there we go so you just go ahead and tap there on backup and everything you can just go back when you're ready or when once you have done that it's very very simple actually it, i was quite impressed of how simple it was to unlock and root this device uh, when it's new and everything uh, so after you created this backup of course we don't have root yet so uh, do you remember this uh, super SU file that you should have put on your SD card go ahead and do that because that one's gonna give you root uh, you just go down then to let's see here uh, install zip from SD card exactly then install uh, choose zip from SD card scroll down it should be at the bottom if you if you put it into your root here you can see my uh, super su file here or my zip file you just tap on that to install it and it, it, sh it should work and everything um, so now you should have it both uh, unlocked uh, and rooted and, and ready to go and if you have any questions please um, you know let me know you can leave them in the comment section below uh, so what can you now go ahead and do with the device where well, you can basically do like anything 
you can do some pretty goddamn sick things with this device now uh, and rem remember this is now for the international variant of the phone I'm using I'm not using the US variant or something like that uh, but that's basically how you go ahead and do it uh, as I said if you have any qu questions or comments or something you want to leave down here uh, please please let me know it's very important and if you also want to see if I actually do have root access you can go ahead and check it out below and now you can just go ahead and go to XD developers and try out different uh, zip, you know RMs and everything um, and it's kind of cool because it's actually not that many people that have done that already uh, from what I've seen I'm also waiting for the new firmware uh, from HTC I'm running on the 1.26 right now and uh, I've heard that the reviewers they got a one with the 1.27 and 1.28 and that should fix a lot of the battery problems and also some camera fixes so hopefully that will um, make the FPS higher when you record and stuff so uh, I hope you have learned something from this video and also I don't think that the root check basic app basically works uh, because um, I mean I, I got that little pop-up thing you do when you usually have root but I don't think that that the root check basic app uh, currently supports the HTC One X but if you just go ahead and tap on mobile Odin over here you can see down here that you will get permission down there so obviously root is uh, working so this is how a rooted uh, HTC One S is and unlocked, and now we can do some fun things with it. We can we we can do a ton of things. So if you like this, I mean, if if you learned something from this video, please leave it a like and a comment if you feel like it. You just have an awesome day. I'm gonna go ahead and do something else right now. Maybe watch some porn. I don't know. See. Ya.